What's up, guys? It's your boy, Bro Charles. Back again with another episode of Hatchet Truck. And today, we are doing a day in the life. I got my nephew with me today. He said he won't be featured on the video. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're doing today. See y'all in a second. Let's get it. There y'all go. I was looking for y'all. Come on and check out this episode. Let's get it. My mom, you gonna get the scraps out? Yeah. You gotta put your gloves on too. So I'm in Leonard Town, Maryland, picking up this vehicle. Um, it is going 90 miles. I'ma let y'all, um, how much, if you got experience, let me know how much you think it should be paying. If you have no idea, just uh, drop it in the comments and let me know what you think is paying. I think I said that right. All right, I'm about to load it up. All right, so I'm in my second pickup of the day. Um, the van that I just showed y'all. Um, let me know how much y'all think it's paying. Um, I don't know how many miles it is right off hand, but I'll put it on the screen probably right there or right there. Show y'all how to keep it tight on this side. Come on, come with, walk, come with me real quick. When you load these vans up and stuff like that, you wanna um, make sure that you tight on this side as much as possible. See those D rings? Show them D rings, Mike. Point to the D rings. Show them what the D rings are down over the edge. This ring. When you load these vans and stuff up like this. If they're wider, you want to at least stay tight. Even if you have to ride on the D-rings, ride on the D-rings. That way you won't be hanging off on the other side of the trail or possibly tire falling off on the other side of the trail. But I'm about to load this thing up. Put this. Oh, and another thing too, with these vans, these vans, the seat belt, they got this electronic parking device on here and these seat belts, if you get out the seat while you're trying to load it, it'll lock the electronic parking brake up. So the tip for that is load the, um, uh, whatever they say, make sure you clip the seatbelt in while you load. You gotta get out. Y'all see how close I am to the D-ring? I ride over the D-ring like that as much as possible. All right, so one thing I had to learn was not to get caught up in the rate per mile and figure out what it costs for me to operate my company per mile. So don't just think that you see what stuff is paying or a certain, a certain dollar amount of mile that that's good. I mean, it is good, but is it good for you? So keep that in mind um, before you just start being all over the place. Like I said, I had to learn that myself, what it cost me to operate. All right, so that car right there is a car that I picked up out Leonard Town, Maryland. Um, I, was, I wanted to show y'all me loading it, but that one, if you can look at it, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. This is important. This is a Type R um, Honda Civic. 
if you look at it, it got this, um, I guess, spoiler kit, body kit thing on here. And it's, it's a little low. So I had to um, get my boards out and I didn't even have no decent boards to compensate for the clearance of that vehicle. But I, um, I just forgot to do it because I was more so worried about um, not damaging the customer's vehicle. Um, uh, and he was, you know, he was standing right there watching me the whole time. Not that I would damage a vehicle, but it's a little different when you got um, an audience. You gotta make sure you're doing it right. And then at the same time, I had my nephew with me, so I was trying to teach him the right thing. But I didn't want to leave that part out because that's very important. Make sure that you get you some boards. That way, these lower cars can compensate for the clearance. On, so you won't be scratching people's cars. Huh? People love their cars, man. So I just dropped that van off down there. You see it? It's right there. That's the van, y'all. This is the check-in at Manheim Auto Auction in Baltimore, Washington. It's really Elk Ridge, Maryland, but they call it Baltimore, Washington because Baltimore is about 10 minutes away. Five, 15, all that good stuff. But yeah, this is where you check it in at. That there, blue thing is the guard shack. They can help you out if you're lost and need to be found. What's going on? How you doing? That's good. Yeah, so that's that. Got to go on the other side to pick a car, though. Let's get it. Oh, so what's up, yeah? I ran my ran into my man Nick. This is my good man right here. One of my subscribers, my man. He definitely he locked in, but he got the race runs right. I was just I just was telling I just made a video about how I put the wood on there because I had an issue with that jump. But I'm about to get these right here. These are race runs. These jumps right here for them lower cars. Low jumps. See, my man got that steel jump. That jump right there, nice. Yeah. My man Nick, good dude right there. All right, so this is the third vehicle that I picked up from the auction when I um, dropped that van off. So this is the third vehicle today. And like I said, I'm gonna reveal the prices of what they pay. Um, comment what you think below. This is, these two vehicles are actually for a direct customer of mine. So, um, I'm taking these back home and this is going to be the end of the day. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you stay with me this long, this far, this, thus, this far in the video, I got something coming up for y'all. A bonus for all of y'all that waited and watched the whole video through, which is going to be the reveal of how much all of those vehicles cost. I mean, how much all of those, how much I hold all those vehicles for, 
basically a price point. We got some prices on how much each vehicle was that I hauled in the miles. Um, yeah. So that's coming up next. Uh, right here on this screen coming up next. Maybe I should like shake the screen or something.